guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm back! I am totally through with my whole eye infection mess so I am finally able to get back from my eye makeup hiatus that I was on and that I absolutely hated. So I figured let's go all out with this tutorial. Today I have a tutorial for you guys and basically it was inspired by this lip color here. This is the new Maybelline Superstay 14 hour lipstick. Um, I'd seen a lot of people with this, kind of customers that where I work at, um, whenever they would come and like try on new lipsticks, there would be a few that like were taking off their current lipstick that they were wearing and like it would never come off. Like we were there for like a good like 5 or 10 minutes trying to take off whatever color they had on. When I would ask them what lipstick are you wearing right now because I was so amazed by the staying power of it, they would said it's some drugstore, I think it's Maybelline or something, whatever, <laughs> but um, lo and behold it was this Maybelline Superstay. So, these are supposed to last for 14 hours. They have like a super strong hold. Obviously, it's super pigmented. I chose the darkest color that I could um, cause just because I wanted something a little bit fun and different and a little bit like vampy and fall appropriate. So I figured let's do a whole look around this lipstick. Why not? Anyway, so if y'all want to find out how I got this look, then of course, keep on watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye! So I've already started with one lid, let's move on to the next one. So first I'm taking Max Paint Pot in Soft Ochre to prime my lid. And then I'm taking from the Stila and the No palette the shade Desert. I'm going to be taking this onto my eye blender. And yes, I am speeding through this because I did go back and just built up the intensity of this. Um, normally I would have left it with just one layer of color, but I did go back and apply two. Just because I wanted the crease to have a lot of depth since we don't have a lot of color since we're going to have that pop of color in the inner corner. Then I'm highlighting my brow bone with the shade Wind. Wind. I'm going to be putting this all underneath that arch of my brow and also onto the bottom part of my eyelid, focusing it more on the center because that's where I'm going to want the most white color to appear. Then I'm just going to go back in with that big fluffy eye blender and just really smooth out the crease even more. Then taking the shade Driftwood, I'm going to be focusing this on the outer V of the eye. And again, I'm just going to be slowly building up the intensity of this, reapplying and going back in and adding the depth as much as I need it. So here I go again. I'm going to fast forward through this just because I don't want to get this to be a little boring. Then to darken up that crease even more, I am taking the shade Earth and just again pressing that really just onto the outer V here and then I'm just going to be slowly blending that into the white that we have in the center but not covering over it and then just carefully making sure I push whatever colors I have more in towards the inner corner of the eye over the white part. This is going to give our eye a more rounded appearance. We may have lost some intensity from the shade wind, so I'm just going back here and reapplying it, and then once again, blending in whatever colors I have in my crease, just so we have a nice, smooth, melted transition. Now for the fun part. I am taking the shade Fringe from the Urban Decay Electric Palette, and this is such a beautiful teal, and I thought it paired so nicely with the wine lip color that we're going to be using. So first, to start off, I'm not going to be applying this all over my corner first. I'm just going to be doing the top part of it, only because I really want that color to be appearing underneath the liner. Then taking my Bobbi Brown Longwear Eye Pencil in the shade Jet, I'm going to be tight lining those upper lashes. And then adding my top wing, I am using my Bobbi Brown Longwear Gel Liner in the shade or the color Black Ink. And I am using this on a Morphe angled brush. And I'm just going to be lining it. Nothing too dramatic, but I do want a winged liner for this look. So just applying it as usual. Now moving on to the face, I already primed with my Mary Kay foundation primer and now I'm going to be going in with my new current favorite foundation right now. Um, 
I'm using the YSL Fusion Ink Foundation. If any of you guys have tried this, you're going to know how unique and different this foundation is. And I'm applying this just onto the center of my face first. And I do like to spread this out with a stippling brush or, yeah, a stippling dual fiber brush. And it's such a different texture. I've never used a foundation like this before. And I had been living off a sample of it that I got a few weeks ago from work. And I was finally able to get it now at a really great deal. So yeah, if any of you guys live near a Dillard's, you're going to know that there was this foundation event going on. And the foundations had a awesome, awesome discount. Anyway, so I'm just going to be putting this on first and then I'm going to be going in and of course concealing my under eye discoloration with my Bobbi Brown corrector in the shade Light Bisque. And then I am going to be going over that and doing a little bit of highlighting with the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. I am in the shade Vanilla. So if you guys have watched any of my past tutorials, you're going to know that I really liked to do this part. Well, I actually had liked to do the under eye area with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and I didn't use that one on the rest of my face because it broke me out. The other parts of my face that I would highlight, I would use my MAC Pro Longwear, and for some reason that started to break me out, which was really, really weird because I had been using it for a while now. So I didn't want to have to buy another concealer I guess but I kind of just caved and since I have heard a lot of great things about this NARS one I decided well let's give it a try and I gotta say I really do like it it is really good but for those of you who haven't tried the Maybelline Fit Me just a little FYI it is totally a dupe for it um, but again maybe the Maybelline one might break you out like it did with me but anyway so then I'm going to be setting the areas of my face where I did highlight. I got a little sample, well I guess I shouldn't say sample, but like a mini size version of this Makeup Forever HD setting powder. Um, it's It was one of those Sephora point perks things, so I'm going to be taking this and just setting the areas where I had placed that concealer. And then for the rest of my foundation, I am using my Bobbi Brown Skin Weightless Powder Foundation. I am using this as a setting powder, so I'm taking it with a big fluffy brush and just setting those areas where I hadn't touched with the Makeup Forever HD setting powder. Okay, so as you can see, I totally finished one eye already. Now time to move on to the next. I am again taking my Bobbi Brown Longwear Pencil in the shade Jet and just lining my waterline. That was so hard for me to get out. <laughs> anyway, so just lining my waterline like usual and just kind of putting a little bit underneath my lashes since we are going to smoke this out. And then I am going back in with the shade Earth and I am just going to be going over that liner and softening up the color a little bit. Then taking a fluffier brush and picking up a little bit more of Desert, I am going to be just going over that liner once again and just really smoking this out. This is the same color we put in our crease that just gives a nice balance from the top and bottom lid and again just softens up the whole look. And then to finish off that teal color, I am again picking up Fringe from the electric palette and I'm going to be now connecting the color we had placed on the top part of the inner corner with the bottom and I am going to be pushing this kind of fairly out and really smoking and blending it out and then on the top part I am going to be pushing it to where it meets the pup no the iris of our eye so that color part of your eye you're going to want this to kind of stop right there again having the darker browns on the outer corner and then having this pop of blue on the inner corner and having it all smoke out like this really gives our eyes this nice rounded appearance which I love since I have um, typically a little bit smaller eyes. <laughs> anyway so now to prep our lashes for some falsies I am taking the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is my absolute favorite mascara. I love it. So I'm just going to be putting a generous coat onto my top lashes before going in with my falsies. So I am using House of Lashes lashes today and this is the style Tigress. I hope I'm saying that right, but I absolutely love them. They flare out so nice and I just love the dramatic curl at the very tips of them. 
And then for my bottom lashes, I am taking my Mary Kay Ultimate Mascara. This is in the color black. And I am just going to be generously coating my bottom lashes as well to just even out and balance out those really top heavy lashes. Now to start contouring, I am taking my Bobbi Brown bronzer in the shade Golden Light and I am going to be contouring my nose like how I usually do before going and contouring the rest of my face and I am taking that bronzer and just pushing it up and into the hollows of my cheek and around my temples and of course underneath my jawline. Then taking my Bobbi Brown Brightening Blush in the shade Bronze, which I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to put this down because I just am so obsessed with it. I'm probably just going to use this in every tutorial until I run out. But anyway, I'm just going to be taking that onto the apples of my cheeks and of course going up and out towards my hairline. Then for my highlight, I am taking the Balms Mary Luminizer and applying this on my Cupid's bow, the bridge of my nose, high points of my cheek, and the center of my chin. I'm kind of avoiding the center of my forehead too for this just because I kind of experienced a little bit of texture and break out there um, recently. So yeah, if you put highlight on top of any kind of blemish, you're just going to really bring out the appearance of them instead of disguising them, which is what we do not want. And now for the star of the show, I am taking that beautiful, beautiful Maybelline lip color. This is the shade Wine and Forever. I absolutely love it and it smells so good. It smells kind of fruity and like grapes. And yeah, after starting to apply this, I quickly learned that I definitely either needed a lip liner or had to apply this with a brush. And I really didn't have a lip liner that really paired with this too well. So I always love using lip brushes to apply my lipstick especially dark ones like this and here is the finished look guys so i hope you all enjoyed this tutorial thank you so much for watching and obviously you can definitely pair this with a more neutral lip i just wanted to do something a little bit more fun and like i said earlier vampy and fallish so anyway hope you guys liked and i'll see you next time bye